welcome to the Delta Beat. I'm your host, Madison Gody. This past week, Planned Parenthood closed their health center in Saginaw. The nonprofit made this decision in order to focus on bigger areas where their services are most needed. The health center in Flint is now the closest Planned Parenthood location to the Saginaw area and offers abortion services as well as birth control, pregnancy testing, STD testing, and much more. You can read more about this in Patrick Zahaki's story in print and online. I hope you're ready for the Halloween season because Crystal Glazdala has a new segment just for you. Take it away, Crystal. Welcome to another segment of Microwaves Don't Give You Cancer. I'm Crystal Glazdala. Crystal. Today. Hey. Hey. Today we're going to. Crystal. Today we're going to talk about talking to yourself. Do you ever catch someone talking to themselves at school or at the grocery store and think to yourself, wow. What a total weirdo. Well, that may be true by social norms. We actually talk to ourselves more than we talk to anyone else. Talking to yourself can make you wiser. And what's even better is talking to yourself in the third person, calling yourself by name. Strong start, Crystal. Keep it up. Talking in third person isn't anything new. In fact, the term ilyism meaning to talk to yourself in the third person, was coined over 200 years ago. Julius Caesar was a big fan of it. Talking to yourself in third person helps to clear your thinking and improve problem solving. It helps you detach yourself and remove your own bias. Igor Grossman at University of Waterloo in Canada has done a ton of research on talking to yourself. Good job remembering that guy's name. He found that people who talk to themselves in third person regularly are more emotionally stable and wiser. How do you measure wisdom? There are three main markers that Grossman looked at. One of them is intellectual humility, meaning that you can recognize that something you believe in might actually be wrong. Something that many of us could use a good dose of. The other markers are perspective taking and the ability to compromise. What about emotional stability? You've probably heard the phrase, you are your own worst critic. Oh, what are you thinking, Crystal? You don't know what you're talking about. Get that negative self-talk out of here. Positive self-talk can help bolster your confidence, while negative self-talk can distort reality into a very spooky place. So when you find yourself getting stuck in a cycle of negativity, maybe talk to yourself in the third person. Write yourself a compassionate letter. Go ahead, send it. No, you don't have to talk to yourself out loud all the time. Personally, I find it helpful, but I try not to do it too much in public because I don't need people to think I'm weirder than what I already am. This has been another segment of Microwaves Don't Give You Cancer. Back to Maddie. Thanks, Crystal. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with our latest content. There you'll find our newest segment called Collegiate Does It, where our team will be taking to the pumpkin patch to carve up some spooky faces. Also, make sure to grab our latest issue in print on newsstands Tuesday, October 22nd. There you'll find Haley Huggard's recent review of the Tunnel of Trees for our road trip, an update of the Midland Center, and much more. I'm Madison Gody, and you've been watching The Delta Beat.